Hey there everyone, today is another photo spectacular day and today we are looking at some of those photos from the Disney Cruise Line. Now this video is a follow up to one that I made a few days ago from PhotoPass. A couple friends said, Michael, why don't you create one with the Disney Cruise Line? Very good idea, I'm gonna share some of my favorites from the cruise with you where you can get them, a few blooper photos and a few of my favorites. Let's jump right in. The first one is a big hug that I gave to Daisy. You can see I was so distracted with Daisy wanting to say hi to her, the camera was by my side, wasn't even filming. I just wanted to give Daisy a hug. Love those moments where you kind of, you fall out of everything. You just want to experience your time with the character. Now here I am in front of a gingerbread house on board the Disney Wonder. A very cool experience. The Very Merry Time Cruises. One I want to do again in the future. A lot of great photos and the whole place smells like gingerbread because of this house. Meeting the Avengers on board the Disney Cruise Line is very easy on the Marvel Day at Sea. But what if it's not the Marvel Day at Sea? Believe it or not, this photo was taken on the Very Merry Time Cruise cruise and I met Black Widow. These opportunities do come up on board the Disney Cruise Line. You want to look on the navigator during the day. Sometimes they'll say on there that there's a very special meet and greet maybe once or twice during that one day where you can meet the character. Sometimes though they're not announced. Just walking around through the lobby you just happen to see them. Special surprises that Disney has in store every single day. It's a lot of fun to catch them. Now this photo is from our most recent Star Wars Day at Sea Adventure and you may recall David and I had caught the flu at this point. Point. David was sick. I was I was okay, but you could tell I had my hands full. It was a photographer who was just kind of walking by. We had become friends over the course of the cruise, and she said, "Oh, let me take a like photo of you right there." And I had food in my hand to bring back to David and everything. It was just one of those spur of the moments, like, oh, photo, here we go. Now, during that Star Wars Day at Sea Cruise, David and I took a lot of great photos, but some of them came out extremely funny. We were laughing as we were taking them, taking all sorts of different poses with lightsabers and Chewbacca coming to get me and all these different things. We had a ton of fun, and just the photographers were having as much fun as we were, for sure. Now, there was a shot that I was looking for while we were on board, catching that lightsaber as it's coming toward you in midair. I tried multiple times to throw my lightsaber in the air, but it is a two hundred dollar lightsaber and I didn't want it to smash on the ground so I could never like look at the camera as it was flying in midair. We tried multiple times, it just didn't happen. So eventually we decided that someone would kind of hold the lightsaber out and it would look like it was midair, but it was kind of behind the camera. You know what I mean? Like it would be coming in from behind the camera and you reach out for it, it wasn't really in midair. We were trying for it, it worked a little bit, but one day we'll get it where it's like in midair. Now during that Star Wars Day at Sea Cruise, David and I took a lot of great photos, but some of them came out extremely funny. We were laughing as we were taking them, taking all sorts of different poses with lightsabers and Chewbacca to get me and all these different things. We had a ton of fun and just the photographers were having as much fun as we were for sure. Now meeting some of those characters in costume was a ton of fun. I really did feel like Obi-Wan Kenobi as I was walking up to Chewbacca or Darth Vader with my robe on, my lightsaber in hand from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Moments that I will never forget. Yes, you can meet them at Hollywood Studios, but you're not in the costume. It's a little bit different when you're there. It's a lot of fun. I should also point out the backdrops here, especially for Darth Vader. It's very unique him on the bridge of a Star Destroyer right there. So cool. Now you know how much I love those white background photos. This one in particular was very well done by a very talented photographer. You can see I'm actually holding David up. Like he's like, you know, I'm holding him up with one hand right there. I thought that was really, really cool how they did that. It was just an inspirational photo. Just like, what else can we do? What else could be unique and fun? And this one I thought was just super cool. It took a while to figure out the angle. You have to angle your hand just right to make it look like David was standing right there on my hand. The photographer had to move around to make it just right, but it turned out, in my opinion, really nice. Pirate night is always a ton of fun. When they have those barrels for you to sit on, I feel like it adds a lot when you have the props with you. And David actually had one where he was holding up a barrel, but you can sit or stand on the barrel to kind of add to the theming there. So cool. Now we talked about tossing a lightsaber in midair. How about tossing a camera in midair? <laughs> It was a unique shot to say the least and I love having fun with those white background photos. There's another one where it's me vlogging and then the photographer taking a picture of the camera of me vlogging which was just super funny. You can have fun with these white background photos. There is no limit. Your imagination is the only limit. Just go at it and have a great time. I love taking advantage of those photos on formal night where I can get a photo of me in a sports jacket or a suit on board having a great time. Maybe use them for the future. You never know. You need a headshot somewhere. And then there was one we took kind of behind the statue of Minnie Mouse there. I thought that was really cool, kind of me and David just peeking around the statue. That was a great one. Now here's another one on that white background here, which I thought was fantastic. It was holding David up and he kicks his feet up and it really turned out super well. But when we switched roles and David tried to kind of pick me up, 
it didn't, I was not as talented as David when it comes to, you know, like jumping in midair. I didn't want to put on my weight and the whole thing. I didn't, you know, didn't want to hurt anybody. So it turned out really well for David, but when I tried to do it, it kind of, yeah, it was, it was okay. David's was much better. Seeing frozen Han Solo inside the lobby of the Disney fantasy was truly fantastic. And I tried to go for the pose right there, but it looked kind of like I was half sleeping, half zombie. I don't know what was happening there. So, you know, a little blooper photo right there, but still a lot of fun. When we first stepped on board, the Disney fantasy and saw that Star Wars Day at Sea backdrop, you know, we had to just drop everything and take a photo right there. This is right after we got on board, a memory we're definitely going to hold on to. Now, when my sister Michelle and I went on board the Disney magic for Marvel Day at Sea, we had a ton of fun meeting very special characters. And Chippendale, I think, was one of our favorites, not Marvel themed, but kind of Disney Marvel themed characters that we met. You can see one's Thor and one's Loki. On Castaway Key, Michelle and I had a great time snorkeling, seeing all the different things out and about. We made it back. We took a photo with the photographer right there. It's always a lot of fun to take a photo there, but sometimes it's hard to find a photographer. Sometimes they're out and about by the family area. Sometimes you don't know where they are, so it really depends. You gotta go looking for them sometimes. The Marvel Day at Sea was tons of fun for character meet and greets. We met Spider-Man, Black Panther, great photo there, Thor, super cool with Captain America, Groot, and of course, Loki. And this is one of my favorite photos from that trip. You can see that I'm kind of giving Loki the eye, like, what are you going to do, Loki? And Loki's about ready to take my soul with the scepter. It was just so cool. This is such, such a cool photo right here. One that I treasure. I treasure this one, and I love being in costume. Do not be afraid to be in costume on these cruises. Last but not least for today, we have Daisy Duck in a very special outfit. And this is just one example of many different special outfits that you can find on board. You've got Captain Minnie, you've got Captain Mickey, and they have different attire throughout the cruise. So taking multiple pictures does not hurt. So you can remember all these different outfits. Sometimes there's like a blue outfit, a white outfit, a purple outfit, whatever it is, you're gonna find something special throughout the entire adventure. Now those are just a few of my favorites from on board the Disney Cruise Line, and there are more we're gonna take, no doubt, in the future. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.